natural fiber cleaner used at one ounce per gallon through your base unit. This is the product that should be used whenever you're wet cleaning sisal. Here's a couple of examples. This first rug here, it's a jute rug with a white binding on the edges. The technician cleaned it his normal way. PCA5, booster, pre-spraying with Procrefus, etc. He had two major problems that you can somewhat see here. Uneven browning, it darkened on, uh, in some areas almost black. In addition to that, the jute actually bled onto the white binding. Serious problem. How did we take care of that? Very easily. We simply cleaned the jute rug with natural fiber cleaner. That took care of all the water stains and the darkening. And then I applied 40 volume peroxide to the white binding, allowed it to dry. Problem was taken care of. Okay, here's the rug that we were just talking about. Same technician is now cleaning it the proper way, of course, uh, with one ounce per gallon of the natural fiber cleaner. As I mentioned earlier, natural fiber cleaner contains a reducing bleach, and so that's going to take care of all the water stains and the darkening. Sisal rugs, it's made of jute, hemp, etc., should only be cleaned with natural fiber cleaner. Uh, to prevent the problems. In this particular case, he's cleaned it twice, two different directions perpendicular to each other since he had an evenness, and this is to remove all the problems that he had created. Here's a kind of a close-up, so still a little bit dark because it's uh, still wet. In this particular case, there's no need to apply brown out because of the reducing bleach being used. Simply put the blower on it to get it good and dry. There's natural fiber cleaner being used on a cotton rug. This rug was actually brought in by a local carpet cleaner who had ruined it. This is a wall hanging cotton, has a tiger print on it. He had cleaned it brown severely on him. He tried treating it with brown out three times unsuccessfully. You can see in the next picture how nice it looks afterward. That was cleaned with, that, with natural fiber cleaner that took care of all the water stains, the browning, and it straightened out. How did I do that? But obviously cleaning didn't do it. While it was wet, it was hanging on the rug rack, I simply went back there on occasion. I simply tugged down on that bottom area where it pulled up until finally it was straight. Or we could have simply blocked it.